This video will cover the topic, finding solutions in an interval for a trigonometric equation with an angle multiplied by a constant. Why does it matter if our angle is multiplied by a constant? This will affect how we solve our equation. Say we're given the equation 2 cosine of x over 2 minus 1 equals 0, and we want to find all solutions in the interval 0 to 2 pi. We'll let x over 2 equal theta to work in terms of angles we know. Substituting theta into the equation for x over 2, our equation becomes 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals 0. We can add 1 to both sides of the equation and divide both sides by 2. The value 1 half is one of the common trigonometric values for cosine, so we know that in the interval 0 to 2 pi, if theta equals pi thirds or 5 pi thirds, cosine theta equals 1 half. So this is our final solution? Not quite. Remember that in the original equation, we wanted to solve for x, but we're still in terms of theta. We need to substitute x over 2 back into our equation for theta. To isolate x, we must multiply both sides of our equations by 2. When we do this, we see that x equals 2 pi thirds, or x equals 10 pi thirds. So is this our final answer? Let's take a look at the interval we are trying to solve in. Okay, so our interval includes the value 0, but does not include the value 2 pi, right? Right, since 10 pi thirds is greater than 2 pi, and our interval excludes values greater than or equal to 2 pi, this value is not a solution to our equation. Okay, I think I understand this topic. When solving trigonometric equations involving an angle multiplied by a constant, we should substitute theta for the angle multiplied by a constant, and then solve for theta. At that point, we can use our solution for theta to solve for the original variable. We must then make sure that the solutions we found fall within the desired interval. That's exactly right. Great work!